what's good what's good youtube welcome to another one it's a day of my life in port i promised about this video and now it's here so right now we are in Shangchi shipyard china we arrived one day ago we are loading wind towers and we're shipping them to europe so it's the first time our ship my sword i'm sorry is a is somebody calling me no somebody it's the first time our ship has loaded this type of cargo so there's been modifications that has to be done on the inside cargo hold to make sure that this cargo doesn't shift during the voyage so they had to weld some D-rings, some uh, you know to secure the lashing material between the ship and the cargo during bad voyage at sea nothing goes wrong so shall i take you on a tour of what i do in port So right now, if you can see on my starboard side, on my right, there's this beautiful bridge. I don't know if you can see that, guys. But there's this beautiful bridge there. There's some traffic, small traffic passing by. So, and this is our ship. This is the forward motor station. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. This is the forward... Oh, gosh, really? This is the forward mooring station which I'm responsible for when the ship is coming alongside I stand by here to make fast these ropes these ropes help the ship not to go away not to drift from the berth we monitor them all times according to the tide according to how much we are loading or discharging so that nothing goes wrong and if you look here we got some safety ships child mooring safety and mooring and unmooring safety procedure posted by one and only and i'll show you guys of the actual cargo how it's looking right now and how much progress they've done so yesterday they did one day thing they completed one cargo hold number five today they're gonna do another one day thing they're doing on cargo hold number four, four now I think they'll finish it and then the next day cargo hold number three and then they'll load some items on the hash covers so you can see the town is quite close but i cannot go ashore so this is useless for me but the town is quite close here it's just those are the type of cargo we are loading those wind towers there Finally my watch is over 
this was probably the longest I've had since we arrived because not only do we have to check if our vessel is, is moving safely we also need to check the cargo that is the cargo we are loading over there we also need to check the condition of the cargo if there is some damage in there because loading survey was cancelled the surveyor could not access the cargo there on the barge so we need to check it so that is where we are loading right now we are we are finished loading number five now we are loading number four so i'm going to enjoy my lovely lovely lunch and i'm inviting you guys to go with me Okay guys, we got dinner. I'm still a little bit tired. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so we got dumplings, we got porridas, and we got some mushrooms. I'm sorry guys, you cannot see the whole meal because I'm too tall child. So these mushrooms are good. One thing, what I like about being in port what I hate about being in port mostly is about what I hate when I'm in port I am doing 6 on 6 off so I'm starting work at 6 a.m. finishing work at 12 and then again evening time starting work at 1800 and finishing work at midnight it's tiring given the fact that when I'm in, I'm in port, it's the only time I get to have full signal. Like I get to use my phone, video call with my friends. On a ship, they ship Wi-Fi, but this Wi-Fi is like, it's limited, you know? You only get, <laughs> you cannot access YouTube and stuff, you get what I mean? And you, you only get limited data from a company okay now they are giving us one one gigabyte per week this is still not enough you know for a normal person so it's it's it's, it's limiting being at sea in ports we get to find sim card we buy a sim card we get to they bring some business and then we get to buy some things i just bought a projector in last port I'm going to do a video about that, like a review. I probably, by the time I post this, I would have probably done the video. But yeah, guys, being in port is not okay. Also, especially due to the fact that we cannot go outside now. Due to the pandemic, everybody think we are terrorists. Everybody. Can you believe this is our ship, but... <laughs> We are being told to stay away from deck. Don't go on deck. Stay in accommodation. These TV doors will do the work. But this is our ship, we'll stay here. But now we are sort of like sent to this one corner. Oh god, so clumsy. I'm clumsy. I made friends with the fro two for one, you know, bitch by fell. So I do this is it's what I do during this time. Also, as I was telling you guys, monitoring the ship, the mooring lines, the gangway, the cargo operation, and then the paperwork side of things. I need to lock down everything that is happening, you know, all the events.
is pop ping ting i'm the pass ping ting all in air all this air is your mother mother gossiping hey guys it's quite dark here i don't know if you can see me i'm looking all golden and stuff <laughs> because of this forward mastered lights above me so i've just taken over my watch guys i've just taken over my watch oh my gosh this mic is fucked up I've just taken over my watch. They stopped already cargo operations. So you can see on my right, there's no more cargo operations. There, this is our ship. This is the starboard side of our ship. Oh my God. It's just something that I'm scared of. This is the starboard side of our ship. That's the berth. Stupid doors are already down. So what I do normally when I took over the watch, I will check. So what I do when I take over the watch, I will take over the watch from second mate. He will tell me all the events that went down during his watch and anything that is remaining or any jobs that needs to be done during my watch, he will let me know and also will transfer to me like what time are they going to start tomorrow if these uh, stevedores come these labors from shock site any information any important information that i need to know he will hand over to me after receiving that i will take action as necessary and then i'll do a tour around the ship to see if all the systems safety equipment is still in place uh, make sure that before closing any cargo hold all the stevedores are out nobody inside just general safety and security of the vessel i need to make round so that i make sure if there's any damage that i find i report it immediately because i don't want it to make it look like there was something that happened during my watch so if i find anything wrong i'll just report it that when i took over i found one two three four and this was during second mate's watch so because if i take over and i don't carry out this uh, tour i will not know if there's something wrong some near miss some whatever so this is good about that so now i'm just gonna go and log the events that went down during my watch because now there's nothing much to do guys and later on I'll make you guys seem smoothie. Oh, sweaty sweaty now oh sweaty sweaty now hey guys so I'm done with the day almost I wanted to show you something cool so now they're installing the CCTV cameras so we're gonna be able to see the cargo inside cargo hold because you know the hash cover will be closed but we have cargo inside so we need to monitor during the voyage is there any cargo shifting in there is the lashing still okay and all the stuff we got CCTV cameras, they're still installing. They haven't completed it. And then also two screens, one on the starboard side and another one on the port side. How cool, I've never been into a vessel with a CCTV. So this is really cool for me, you know. I wanted to, again, I wanted to show you something cool. So I know earlier on, I, I was supposed to show you the, our loading plan. So actually like how much are we loading, you know? So you can see by the plan. If you look at the tank, uh, I mean cargo number five, you'll see that this is what you already loaded. This seven wind towers. And then on top they'll load something again. Number four, now they are currently loading number four. So they already loaded that portion with wooden cases. They will load this tomorrow 
they will be starting at 6 a.m. and then something on top again and then again number three which they haven't started yet okay that is what I did to show you this is what they're gonna load on the tank top on the hash cover good friends if there's one thing that terrifies me okay it's getting much better now but if there's one thing that I used to be scared of as an officer it's just being in charge of a mooring station especially the forward mooring station there's so many accidents and incidents that happen here people die people lose their life because if the rope if the rope <laughs> splits if this rope somehow they cut due to the excess pressure applied they will snap back so they could either snap on your core on your head they are so powerful that they can end your life just like that this is something that i've always been terrified of now with the experience is coming i'm coming less scared of the environment in the forward mooring station and definitely prioritizing safety first other than quick action getting everything done in time so i'll just prioritize you know what safety first um, so yeah guys Can you see me now? Okay guys, let's enjoy our lovely breakfast. I mean lunch for oh my weight. I'm so sleepy. The most annoying thing about filming on board is that <laughs> most often most often they see you film and they're like, oh, what are you doing? What are you, camera again? It's almost like you're not doing your job, you know? So I just try to get these chances to film when not everybody's around because once I film, let's say during work hours and then they start saying, oh, it's only filming. I'm doing my job, baby girl, and I'm actually badass at it. I am just have a, I just have a hobby of sharing videos with my subscribers on YouTube, you know, sharing my, my, my experiences of which I think they may help somebody else who's aspiring to be a seafarer to know in advance what it's like being there, you know, so child. So what we have, we got mushrooms and lamb I think this is lamb mm. <laughs> this is captain's favorite this dessert captain likes this it's a uh, it is a uh, usually your, your, your lasagna sheet you see this lasagna sheet yeah and then he's adding some Nutella there all over Nutella there so captain made it for us quite cool guy and some banana for food and now I will mix my uh, my lovely salad together in my salad we have this <laughs> we have this onion it's a silver onion skin it's sour I like it just to add it usually I don't like onions like raw onions I don't like them my mother never liked them either But this one, they are sweets, they're giving me that sourness. So, and I also put the pitted olives in my salad. I think I showed you guys this during lunch time, but I just didn't explain. When I go home, I'm, I'm planning to maintain the same, you know, living, eating lifestyle healthy lifestyle, eat salad, avoid bread. I haven't eaten bread in like two months. Yeah, I haven't eaten bread in like two months. 
I started working out but then I lost motivation because you know there's a lot of work sometimes you just feel tired and there was also some bad weather I mean cold weather so it's hard to wake up and then that's how I lost my motivation but after departure believe me very girl I am going in I am going all the way in I'm gonna go back to the gym and then we have this Italian I usually don't I ordered you know I'm responsible for ordering food on board right well captain is sending it but I'm responsible for putting it on on the, on the system I ordered this French a French Italian a French dressing and Italian dressing the French dressing was good because it's sour it's a little bit of green but this Italian one no it's not good so on every ship I'm going in I'm planning to order this French dressing for the rest of my career I mean for the rest of my third mate career <laughs> it's so I'm so badass because all the things that I like I order I got Greek yogurt I also ordered this I, I feel like I somehow have the power and you know because I can add what I like there got cereal I ordered mostly when we came there was nothing ordered mostly ordered cocoa truck choco crunch I ordered low-fat milk plain yogurt all the things that I like they came and I became more happy and you know whatever <laughs> I haven't eaten beetroot in a long in a long time I'll eat it today guys I'm gonna I'm clumsy hey I'm gonna eat the beetroot today I'm clumsy make fresh with the flu soup for one you know a bitch by four Okay guys, so we're not gonna chat the whole time, otherwise I'm gonna bore you. I'm just gonna eat and then after eating we're gonna go make a smoothie sunshine. Thank you guys for watching. Let's hope you want to see more of my smoothie try and error videos. Subscribe and also if you want to see some similar content up on my channel, click on the subsection or playlist for similar content. I'll see you guys in the next one.